Hey everybody, my name is Jacob Cody, I'm with Yamaha Pro Audio and we are announcing the new TF Series digital mixing consoles. Uh, man, they are so awesome. Let's check it out. They're, they're incredible. So one of the first things that you're going to notice is that there is a lot of one knob going on here. So for example, I'm going to select my kick. I'm going to go and what are we using today? Well, we've got a Beta 52. All right, let's go find our Beta 52 preset. So cool, we've got, we've got Sennheiser, we've got uh, AT. So I'm going to recall this channel. Great. Now my name, my color, and my EQ are already set up. Then what I can do is I can go with my one knob and decide, do I want more, do I want less? Well, let me just say, you know what? I don't, my subwoofers aren't really that great. I need to pull down that low end so I'm not killing it. Go back to one knob mode, it remembers what I like. So now I can create my own preset, Jake's Beta 52, and I can jump right into one knob from that. It's killer. Let's talk about a vocal mic, right? So let's say, let me uh, zero this out. What are some of the things that you're going to do on a vocal mic right off the bat? Let's say we got a 58. We're probably going to do a high pass filter. We'll probably do a little low mid cut to uh, compensate for some uh, proximity effect. Well, let's check this out. So once we're in our vocal EQ, I can go into one knob mode, put it on vocal mode. So what I'm going to do then is I'm, as soon as I start turning this knob, check out what happens on the EQ. One click, high pass filter engaged. On a little bit more. So then it starts sweeping up. Then it starts pulling down those low mids. Then, even at the most extreme, it's going to give me a little high-end boost. You know what? I might decide, you know what? It's female vocal, I want, that, I want that low end to be up a little bit, and I want a little bit more high-end. Great. Again, it remembers exactly what you got. Really cool. Another really awesome thing is our new gain finder. This is such an incredible uh, thing. One of the biggest problems with digital consoles and recalling scenes is from one week, your scene sounds amazing. It sounds like God himself was mixing that week. The next week, you recall it and something's not right. More than likely, it's your input level because the mic's moved a little bit or someone's not playing as loud. Now your whole console file is useless because your thresholds are off, your EQs aren't sounding right. This gain finder gives a great visual way to get to the same input level every time. If you're still an analog guy, you have your normal metering here, but the gain finder is killer because you just dial it up until you start seeing green. Once you get to the green, you know your clip, you're peaking at green, that's exactly where you want to be. And you, you know you're there every single time, week to week, it's the same everywhere. You've also got effects, and these presets for the effects are killer. A lot of the guys that are touring on the road right now with some really great artists collaborated with us, Yamaha, Shure, and Sennheiser, and uh, AT, and really collaborated together and came up with some amazing presets for the mics. But these same guys also cr created a lot of presets for verbs and comps and delays and all of that. So you can just recall Reverb Hall, and there's a whole bunch of settings here. Cool Echo, MGP Delay, Delay Spread, Bamboo Room, right? Ambient Room. All of these things, you can just recall the effect, and a setting is right there. Now, when about this delay? These are the most important effects that you're going to want to use, right? These are the ones you're going to be grabbing most commonly. Cool. If you're in pro mode and you want to go change some of the other parameters, just go to the next page. Everything that you need is right there. But I kind of like to joke around. There's GoPro, there's Go mode, and then there's Pro mode, right? So, man, it's just really great. You've got 20 different AUG sends here, plus an additional two effect sends that you can use uh, for all of your effects. You've got user-defined keys, mute groups already set up for you, inputs and effects. Um, you've got user-defined knobs, stereo inputs. Uh, later on, we're going to have a, uh, a remote input rack with a Dante card. There'll be a plug-in. You can do Digital Snake, iPads, and iPhones. You can hook up the 10 of them up. Everybody can control their own mix. They're locked down. This thing's just got it all. It's killer. Go check it out at the store when they get there. You're not going to regret it. All right, and you can check out the TF Series and the rest of Yamaha's lineup at bswusa.com. Thanks for checking it out.